All right, so wait, first of all, before you print, um, this is the this is the drawing. This was done in Adobe Illustrator. Um, and what were you telling me about the lines? So lines should be a stroke weight equivalent to 0 0.001. Uh, in this program, which is Corel Draw, it actually comes up as hairline. But gotcha. that's, that's 0 0.001. Okay. Um, after you have... And what is that little mark in the corner that you did? Uh, well, we have... With the software we use, it, it, if we don't put a little marker up in the corner, mm -hmm. uh, when it transfers to, if you go down here, if you pan down to full spectrum laser uh, retina engineering, the other program that actually does the laser cutting, right. it'll move anything that you've drawn to the edge of the page. Okay. So this keeps it where you want it on the artboard. Gotcha. All right. Um, so after you have everything set up in here, I'm going to go to print. Come up here to full spectrum engineering driver, make sure it's on that. Go to preferences, go to advance, go to paper size, and you're actually going to choose FSL, stands for full spectrum laser, professional series 18 or 24 by 18, and that's the size of the bed that we have. Okay. So there's other options in there for other laser cutters out there. Gotcha. We have the one that's 24 by 18. Press OK, press OK, press apply, that's important, and then press OK. Now it's going to automatically come up in this program over here under the tab Vector Cut. Right. Um, so we're cutting through, uh, cutting through acrylic. Right. So we're going to uh, put this at a, a lower speed and a higher power, so 100% power. Okay. And then the speed, um, the speed can range. Mm -hmm. um, when I do some tests, that the, you can, you, it'll, just, it'll just barely be able to cut through if you put it at like 70 speed, and it'll be super sharp, which right. makes sense. But if you put it at a lower speed, it'll, it'll dull the edges that it's creating. Okay. Because it's going at a lower speed, um, therefore the, the laser has more time to melt the edges. Gotcha. So I think I'm going to put it at like, uh, I think I'm going to put it around, let's just do 50 for right now. I think it'll okay. cut through that. And uh, passes, let's bring that down to one. Um, after we have that all set, uh, you're gonna go up here to play or start job. Okay. It should start cutting. And um, actually, we need to do one more we, thing. First. Yeah, we need to. Can't we do like a dry run or something to make sure that it's placed right? Or? Yeah. So we're gonna. Another thing you have to do is you have to make sure it's connected at the bottom here. It is connected, and we're going to make sure it's placed in the right spot. Okay. We're gonna jog it to the left. I'm gonna put it as far up in the left hand corner as possible. Cool. Right there should be pretty good. Alright. We're gonna close this up. Okay. Pull my safety glasses down. Yeah. Uh, start the job. And we know it's cutting through because at every time it hits that grate, it makes a flash, right? The under the grate underneath it. Yeah. Plus, we can actually see this uh, the circles drop through. Oh, cool. You can see the you can see the smaller ones have actually dropped through. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, we did this once before and like charred the shit out of the. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So, will you uh, open it up and show us how the things have dropped through? Yeah. Beautiful. Wow. Awesome. All yeah. right. And another, and another trick, um, maybe for the 
you do for your vlog yeah. is that if you're using acrylic, mm -hmm. um, sometimes they'll get fogged up and they'll get um, there'll be like this residue left over from the laser cutter. Right. A uh, secret trick is to cover it in dish soap, just really cheap dish soap, and let it dry, and it'll create this film over it that'll actually okay. protect it, and then you can wash it off afterwards. Oh, fantastic! Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome.